Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Well, once again, I'm at the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas, in the Grove section. And the reason I'm here is because yesterday I brought by some clients who are seriously interested in the house behind me. It's a Perry home, and it came back on the market because the buyer had to back out. Let's go check it out. I absolutely love this community, and my clients might be getting really lucky that this house came back on the market at the right time. The sales rep said he's going to hold it, and uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow they get this house under contract. But somebody else had already picked out this lot when it was brand new, and you're going to see once we get it back why this is such a desirable lot. But it does have a three-car garage. Uh, the square footage is going to be in the title because I don't know it right off the top of my head. But you've got beautiful rock and stucco combo up front. And so much the original builder, the original purchaser of this house, like I said, he had a medical issue and had to back out. But they've already picked out so much neat stuff like these lights that face up. This um, three-car garage. I, I try not to fall over here. Uh, they got some beautiful lights on the outside. But this is a three car garage and they added the door going into the backyard. That makes things real convenient. You see it's plumb for water softener and you can see over there where they're getting ready to put the water heater in. All right, let's go and head inside the front door. But people that do live in this community, they do get the chance to go to Smith and Valley High School, which is a really good high school. Show off the floor, but uh, and this is Comel ISD, really good school district. All right, when you come in, you can tell they uh, they had picked out some beautiful lights. Really wide hallway here. Hopefully the GoPro is able to pick it up. But you do have your office right up front. Don't worry, that tape gets cooked. The covering on the windows get cleared up. But a good size office with a closet. So yeah, this is a really nice office for right up front. Uh, you do have your ethernet ports. That's what I was looking around for. Ethernet port back in the corner there. All right, I'm gonna show the guest bedroom section first. We do have eight foot doors in here, but this is eight, This is your guest bedroom section. Just an average size room, but tall ceilings, but it has its own private bath. I love the exotic tile work they did there. Like I said, this house is under construction, as you can tell, in a closet tucked away in the bathroom. And then just across the hallway, we have the two other bedrooms. Nope, here's the uh, open to the public bathroom or the bathroom that these two how rooms would share. Same tile as we had before. Once again, decent sized rooms, but let's check out the closet. Good sized closet. Love how tall the baseboard is, pretty good height. This house should be completed in the next two months. So I'm not gonna discuss price because that's, they haven't gotten under contract yet and I'll make this public once it is fully under contract. Oh, destination. Sorry about that. My phone thinks I'm trying to go somewhere. All right. Ooh, this is an even bigger closet. And you've got your uh, box right there where you put your modem and routers and all that stuff. All right in that location. I kind of like that location because we're really right in the center of the house. So if you're trying to use just one modem, that should cover a pretty good section. Well, if it's not big enough, 
uh, those mesh routers, I'm a big fan of them. I have a Netscape, or I think it's a Netscape router, uh, or Netgear. Thinking back in the early 90s, you had Netgear router. This is a uh, medium room. So perfect if you put like a long couch here, a little coffee table, and uh, put up your TV there so you can close the doors. Or of course you could make this another second office. But the person who had this house designed, you can tell by the pass-throughs that they wanted to have this as a media room. It does have an ethernet port down there. So if you were using Apple TV, you can plug that straight in without having to use up your Wi-Fi. But just tall ceilings. Here comes the main living space. Lots and lots of windows. These cabinets will be painted white and it's gonna contrast this really almost black looking brown because this is a Perry home. They do have this extra storage underneath. Here is the pantry. It's a little bit different pantry, but I like it because you don't, you can have everything easily accessible instead of having to like step in and crawl over a bunch of stuff. So kind of neat little pantry there. This is where the fridge will go. They've, the, they've got the undermount lighting as you can see. Nice little backsplash, very modern design. Gas cooktop will go there. Or your dishwasher. And this is a single basin stainless steel sink. Nice view from everything here so you can see what's going on. All right, you've got your breakfast nook space there, which is plenty big uh, if you're trying to host your formal dining room stuff and breakfast nook. You can put a full size table here and not feel too crowded. But lots of lights. But this is what I was talking about earlier in the video, uh, why this is such a nice lot. They did have the extended patio, nice tall ceiling. You can put your own fan up there after you closed it. It is block and wired, but check this out. This is the backyard, really good sized backyard, but that wrought iron fence and this green space, um, that is really super nice. Matter of fact, let's go walk down there and I can show off the green space. This is where they're gonna, eventually have the steps but also a big side yard you can see the door going to the garage it's got a little doggy door on it i just talked to the people buying the house next door seems like a really nice guy and uh <clears throat> these trees here there's nothing wrong with coming out here after you closed on it and kind of cleaning up this underbrush to really show off the tree. I mentioned that to the neighbors and he's like, nope, that's what he plans to do with this tree. He's gonna come out and get rid of this underbrush so he can really see this tree. And they've got a gate as well. <clears throat> but seeing this house gives a good example of what this yard will eventually look like. But just having opened it up to this uh, common use green space, it's really nice where this tree line is. That's where the other ranch is going to be. Grand Endeavor is going to be building beautiful one acre lot homes on there. But this green space isn't going anywhere. So clean up some of the trash that's out here. And yeah, perfect place to go. Let have the dogs come for a walk or just want to go uh, have a picnic or something out here run around, fly kite, whatever you want to do, you can go do that out here. Well, the front of the house, remember it had the rock and stucco. This has the brick on the other three sides. Just love the view. You can, I don't know if you can see it back there, but it's a really nice view from the front of the house off to the side. 
but yeah this yard is perfect if you want to put a pool in and it is getting late afternoon right now this shade spot because the house is facing the correct direction the sun sets on the front of the house the shade's going to cost gradually keep growing and you can enjoy your happy hour out here on the deck without getting your face melted off because as i'm filming this it is june 2022 and we got a little bit of a heat wave going on right now it's hot out there all right they kept that same uh tile pattern as they had in the bathroom for their fireplace I like it in that corner there so you can still have room for the TV on the main wall. All right, we've got your utility room. Good size one. Got some shelving up there. A little bump out if you want to put your brooms in it. All right, coming into the owner's suite. Really good sized owner's suite. That's gonna be the tub eventually. They didn't put a light in here. It looks like it's just blocked and wired. Probably put whatever type of fancy light in or a fan light combo. Check out this bathroom. I love it. Like I said, that's where that tub's gonna be eventually. I'm just really showcasing this shower. These lights didn't come on, so I'm, they're still working on it. But this does have a dual vanity. There's one there, and there's the other one. Let's check out this shower a little bit more. We have a mud inset shower. Like I said, I like the tile they picked out for the bathroom. And they just kind of carried it in and carried it all the way up. That's a really neat looking tile accent piece that they put in. All right, coming into the master bedroom closet. Plenty of space. You got the two rows and your shoe rack. Looks like they got a little sheetrock work to do there. They'll get that taken care of. Perry does also have a two year home warranty. That's where the toilet's gonna be eventually. So uh, anytime during that two years, something goes wrong with the house, just contact their warranty department and they'll take care of it. I still recommend getting a third party inspector to come out and check the house just to make sure everything's good because no matter how good the builder is sometimes they miss a few things see they got a filter up there i'm not sure if that filter is going to stay there sometimes a builder will put that filter up there just during the build process and it's just for uh extra precaution but you don't need it sometimes that could be just the return air spot but here's the main space again we have the look down the hallway all right, that's going to wrap a tour of this beautiful four-bedroom house built by Perry Homes on a gorgeous green space. I absolutely love this house, and I'm super excited for my clients that I'm making this video for so they can show their friends and family. And uh, hopefully they pull the trigger on this um, Monday or Tuesday. And if once it's house under contract, then I'll make this video public for everybody else to see what this plan looks like for Perry Homes. If you're considering moving to the area or if you're already local and looking for a real estate agent that can help with the home buying process, feel free to reach out to me. The best way to do that is to click my link to my calendar in the description box and I'd love to schedule some time, have some time scheduled with you. And you know what? I actually help sell houses too. So it's not always buyers. So if you got a house to sell, I can help that too. Anyways, uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.